You don't have to go very far through a trail before you suddenly hear the unmistakable sound of a prairie rattlesnake. Reaching up to four and a half feet, prairie rattlesnakes pack enough venom to potentially kill a grown man. And with the warmer spring weather, these snakes come out of hibernation and become a common sight all over Colorado. Boulder resident Sean Marino finds rattlesnakes in his yard all the time. Yeah, first thing when I see a snake, I take it 20 steps back, you know, and I run to the shed and I go grab a little stick or something, see if I can't move it off the property. It's causing Sean to worry about his dog, Ranger. Just in case we're out running around and he inadvertently steps on it and is going to get bit, that, that concerns me. Prairie rattlesnakes like to hang out around prairie dog holes just like this one. So wherever you'll find a prairie dog, you'll probably find a rattlesnake. The problem is we're building over rattlesnake territory, so encounters between humans and rattlesnakes are becoming inevitable. In 2007, five Denver area residents were bitten, all between the months of June and July. And just last year, a three-year-old Denver girl died after she was bitten by a rattlesnake in her own backyard. But those who study rattlesnakes know they bite only for self-defense or hunting for prey. They are vital to Colorado's ecosystem, controlling the rodent populations. And the last thing we want to do is have this negative relationship where we're always killing them or uh, constant fear of them because that's not necessary. Despite people's fear of these snakes, Sean says they aren't so bad. I like them. Yeah, they're little creatures. So I have the respect for them. And respect is what they deserve. If you see a rattlesnake in the wild, give it plenty of room to slither away and always keep your ears open for that familiar sound. Natalie Basha, News Team Boulder.